loves welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video guys if this is your first time here welcome my love please stick around don't be a stranger and do consider subscribing if this is not your first time here you already know the drill you keep coming back to see if he constants for a reason so baby go ahead and join the family go ahead and subscribe you already love it here so that's why you keep coming back so guys, on today, this video is going to be um, a little different. This video today, I am going to give you guys like that business one-on-one, -on -one, business essentials, business every day, you know, how to, things that you need to run your everyday boutique if you're going to go into and really a location and not online. So today, guys, I can't say like the top 10 or top 15 because I, I actually made a list this time because y'all know your girl be rambling. I be everywhere, everywhere. So let me see how many things are on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I will say the top 14 things you need to run your everyday boutique. Um, if I think of any more while we are, you know, while I'm going through this video, I'm going to tell you and I just thought of one more why i was um talking um guys so let me write this one down so let's get started with the video with the top things that i feel that and I, i'm not going to put a number on i'm not i'm not even going to put a number on it because like i said i may think of more things while we're going through um while i'm going through this video so let me just get into the video if you're thinking about going into a physical location um, and not online what do you guys think the number one thing needs to be let me tell you what the number one thing is before anything else that number one thing is location 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 honey let me tell y'all something mm -hmm. if you are looking to go to into a brick and mortar store you don't want to be in a dead side of town where there is no foot traffic or anything because you know people are not really going to they may know that much about your business but they may not come and actually visit your business or shop your business because they don't travel that side of town a lot and if they don't have to be on that side of town they may not you know come check you out girl so location 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 and that's why i always show you guys outside of my location because it doesn't matter the day or time there's always foot traffic there's always car traffic around here you know people are walking by i don't want to get people talking but people are walking by people are out talking it's very busy around here so location 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 the foot traffic is busy around my location so is the car traffic it's always busy and people are down talking that way so i don't want to go down that way and get them on my camera but location 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 and initially i wasn't really all that happy with my location well i'm not going to say that i wasn't 100 percent happy with my location because i wanted to be on the other side of downtown even though our entire downtown area where I'm located and one block down, which is where I want it to be, is always busy, always busy. But you know, and I want it to be down on that end. But this end is 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 great too. Um, but location, location, location. That's the number one thing. When you're going into a physical location, you want to be in a busy location and a safe location. Boo, don't put your store somewhere where your alarm system don't mean nothing to them people. They're going to break in your stuff and steal all your stuff, boo. And because of the location, the cops ain't coming. So, don't do that. Location, location, location. That's the number one thing. Okay. So, the second thing when you are going into, you know, your physical location and you are starting your boutique... Oh, guys, I got paper. Oh, goodness. Everywhere. I just slammed my laptop down. It's crazy. So, the second thing. Inventory, boo. What you selling? <laughs> so, you have to decide what your niche is, your target market. You know, what you want to sell. Because I'm going to tell you guys, some things that may kill it online 
may not kill it in store depending on your location because there are certain locations that you know save me oh i just got on last sale thank you y'all love me but let me let me let me let me let me stop paying attention to my phone and pay attention um to this video so it won't be forever so this video won't be so long but guys your inventory say for existence if you live in a beachy town and everyone in your town really you know likes to wear you know shorts and t-shirts and flip-flops and sunglasses is that if that's what people wear 95 percent of the time how well do you think you would do opening up a store selling ball gowns and heels and suits you might not do as well because that's not something that people wear. That's not their everyday stuff. That's not an everyday necessity. So you might not do as well. So when you're thinking about your inventory and your location, make sure they match. Now there may be some things that you offer with your store online only because there are some things that, um, that I'm going to have um online only because i know that they probably won't do as well in the store but i know they're going to do well online because i have um done well with those items online and that's okay and you can try those items out in the store um but just make sure your inventory matches your location if that makes sense guys the next thing your payment system how you gonna get your money, boo? You know, you in a great location, you have your inventory, but you can't take any money. So you need to make sure that you have a payment system in place and that you know how to operate your payment system and that all of your items are actually in your payment system. I've already talked about it, guys. You guys know that I use Clover Mini, and I think this is the two or the three, whatever. It's, it's the Clover something. Um, it's no secret that I'm not a fan of it. I already had it, so that's why I kept it um, to use it. But if I didn't have it, I would have purchased something else. I really don't like the Clover Mini. Um, I might do a video going into detail with the pros and cons of the Clover Mini because there are some pros, but there are a lot more cons than there are pros. Um, so I might do a video and tell you guys about that, but your payment system, you have to make sure you have a great payment system. And if your internet goes out, will your payment system still connect and take those payments? That's a big thing because sometimes the internet does go out and you have to make sure your payment system still works. Now that's a pro about the Clover Mini. If my internet goes out, it's still going to process those, those cards. So that's one thing to think about that's a question to ask if you were looking at payment systems um that's a question to ask that's a major question to ask guys because you don't want to swipe a card and your internet is down and you think you received that payment and you didn't <laughs> so that's something to think about if you want to have an online presence and not just be in store because some 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 places just have straight in store no online store and that's okay but if you want to have an online present you need a web a presence you need a website i use godaddy godaddy is okay but there are many things about godaddy that i don't like i call and i talk to godaddy um a lot the, one of the main reasons why i've stuck with godaddy as long as i have because i've used godaddy well over four years um godaddy is easy to use but um and they work with a lot of systems however you can't take like afterpay um or oh, what's a what's another one after pay quad pay any of those other payments that allow customers to split their payments up you can't do that in the godaddy system um and depending on your your target market and your pricing with your items you know that may be something to add to your website um and and that could dictate whether or not you get a sale um i know that my sales would be more than they are my online sales are awesome thank god but i know my sales would be more than they are if i was able to offer that on my website now shopify is another one shopify offers that i'm actually um 
looking at Shopify really hard because um, at one time I was going to just go ahead and transfer over to Shopify and then I found Shopkeep. I like Shopkeep as well guys so I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to um, go over to Shopify or Shopkeep but you, if you want to also sell online and be able to keep track of all of your inventory all three of these work because GoDaddy when I make a sale online it pulls the number from in my store what well, it does it on you know in my back office on the back end customers can't see it but i can because how i have it set up so it helps me track my inventory so when you make an online sale or an in-store sale you want a system that helps you track your inventory especially if you know you have a lot of inventory you know you just want to keep you want to keep up with that because you purchase that um so you want to keep up with you want to keep up with your inventory and you want to make sure that there's no shoplifting or whatever going on you know things like that another thing is labels now i have two labels guys i purchased this label um this how the front looks and then the back has my return policy on there uh well my refund policy and i made these then I have a, a little snippet of my refund policy on the back. Um, I'm going to use both. Well, actually, I do use both. Um, and I'm going to continue to use both. You see the difference in the one I purchased and then the one I made. Of course, the one I purchased was a lot more. The one I made, and I will link this below for, you know, the one I made. Because I just purchased the, um, the um, what do you call the things? The labels. I purchased these from Amazon and I'll put that link below so you guys can see it they were they were fairly cheap a whole lot cheap well I can't say they were a whole lot cheaper but when I look at the turnaround time and how long it took me to get these because the what I ordered my larger was from um, the more you order the shorter the turnaround time however when you make them yourself you have them right then you print them right then so um, and I like them both. I'm going to use both. Um, I'm going to change how I use them because this one, the larger one, I'm going to use on my clothing. The smaller one, I'm going to use on my accessories. And right now, that's not how I have it. But that's what I'm going to start doing. Um, and I think the quality of both of them are, are pretty, pretty good. You know, I printed this right off of my printer. Um, so, yeah. And you have to decide the how you want to hook them to your clothes. Like with this one, this is just a string. Uh, and I got this from Amazon as well. I'll link this below. But it's just a string that I hooked to them. And with the ones that I made, these strings came with them. These white ones. Now, if you don't want to use that, which half of the time I don't, I use um, my, I call it a label gun. I think that's what you call it. Um, so, yeah. See? And keep that on there because... It was sticky that's that's kind of a needle in there um and i also have these i have the long ones and the short ones and the colors black and and white i really just use the black ones i don't even know why i purchased the white ones because i never used them but i got all this i got all that from amazon and i'll link that below you also need a label writer i don't know if you guys can see mine i got mine back here it's a dymo i got that off of amazon as well um you can get them to print labels or do your labels that you put on the clothes. See, the with that one, I made the, the pricing labels for my clothes. And it also scans, um, does the scan as well. You can um, put the um, barcode on there to scan it. But one thing that I don't like about the Clover, when it comes to scanning, it wants you to um, purchase a software to be able to do that that's that's one con about the clover and i wasn't going to do that so um i didn't put the barcode on there um the new system i'm going to get i'm definitely going to go with the barcode the next thing guys business cards you need business cards because people come in they may not purchase anything but you know give them a business card here you go you know make sure you have and i have two business cards actually um you know, but here you go. Make sure you have all your contact information on there, your website information, your social media information, all of that stuff on your business card. Business cards do not have to be expensive. These first ones, and I'll link this below. Y'all know I made these, and they have the same thing on my address, you know, my telephone number, um, my social media links, and my website. 
I made these. These are just the labels that I purchased um, from Amazon, and I will link this below. And these right here, I got these from Vistaprint. I made these on Vistaprint. Um, so, really the same thing, but these look a whole lot better. Um, and then on the back, all of my contact information on the front you know um, my logo and my name and my boutique phone numbers and my phone number um, and my contact information my website social media um, my physical location so and with my business cards not only to, do I give each person that comes in a business card when they leave make sure you order a lot of business cards guys a lot of business cards because you want to put your business out there um, when people, when customers make purchases, I also put a business card in their bags. And these are the older ones. I'm trying to get rid of these first. Um, and I only have a few left because when I tell you, y'all, I made like 2,000 of these things. So I have a few left. So, um, you know, if they, when they make their purchase, um, if they elect to get a receipt back, I staple my business card to their receipt and I put it in a bag. If they don't get a receipt back, I still drop one of these, you know, in their bag. Um, so, yeah. The next thing, thank you cards. Guys, you need thank you cards. And the thank you cards are really for when you mail your items out. You put a thank you card. These are my thank you cards. I'm not going to show you the back of it because on the back I have... Um, discount codes and all that stuff on this one now on my new thank you cards that i just made that i'm waiting to come in and i'll drop that link below um as well um but it's uh, i don't think i can because i made them on vistaprint and you can also make them at staples as well but um on my new ones not on these um that's why i'm not gonna turn around because discount codes are on the back of it multiple discount codes are on the back of it but with um my my new thank you cards the front looks just like this and on the back um you know i'm just telling them thank you for shopping to Jean boutique and what a discount code is i changed that it's just a box there and i'm and i'm going to personalize each discount code say for example um a lady named tiffany purchased something um online and she purchased um a pair of my love jeans i probably make her discount code my love tiff 21 something like that something that's personal to her and what she purchased and give her a percentage off using that code um so guys do you know do things like that but um you need your thank you cards you also need like the tissue paper and my tissue paper i need to bring some of the stuff in the store but i mail i do all my shipments from home guys um so, but my shipping paper, I have gold shipping paper and I have light pink shipping paper. Um, and you need stickers. And what I do is, you know, I fold the item real neatly. I put it inside, you know, I fold the tissue paper on. I wish I had some here with me so I can show you guys. Because I know it sounds crazy, but it's really neat how I do it. I put a thank you card on it and then I close it up with a sticker. And let me tell you guys, stickers and my poly mailers, oh God, they're at home too. But I got, I, I use several different poly mailers that I also got from Amazon. I am going to insert some pictures of the one I use here. I'm going to go on Amazon to get the pictures and I'm going to insert them here so you guys can see them. And I'll also link them below um, because I use different size poly mailers for different things. But what I love about my poly mailers is they are, they are poly mailers. You cannot rip them things open, honey. When they are sealed, they are sealed. And they have like handles on them so you can carry them. So when you go pick your, when my customers pick their mail up, you know, if they have other things in their hand, they, it, I mean, it has a handle so you can carry it. So they don't have to worry about dropping their bags all over the place. And, um, in your store, you need actual bags. Um, and this is another reason why you need stickers. So with my stickers, I make them with, you know, I make them with labels. Um, and I'll link that below as well. But this is a regular bag that I purchased. A regular bag. Nothing's on it. A regular white bag. I put jewelry in here. Lashes in here. That's usually what goes in here. Um, um, skin and body care products in here. When customers buy it, these are one of the stickers that I made. Let me show you guys how to turn this bag into branding for your store. Just that fast. Take that sticker, put it on that bag, 
and just like that you have branding for your store so i have several of these bags with my stickers on them and let me tell you guys with this you just saved yourself because i will also link below um these bags they also have them in staples I, I purchased um these bags out of amazon but i'm in staples a lot i have an account in staples they also have these smaller bags in staples i think they have like 50 of them for like 19 20 dollars and then you buy the labels i mean you can customize your smaller bags and your larger bags in your store for less than 50 dollars if you order bags and have your logo or whatever printed on them you know you order 100 bags those 100 bags fly by you can use those 100 bags in a week and you're gonna spend 200 dollars on most most companies who customize bags for you you have to order anywhere from 100 to 500 and they charge you from one dollars to two dollars per bag so for something that you can make yourself and spend you know twenty dollars on you can't beat that you know 20 25 dollars on you, you know you can't beat that but you know i just turned this into a brand bag for my store um and i'm also i also ordered the larger ones and i um ordered me some larger label stickers now guys with these stickers and like i said i'm gonna link them below they're only the avery um label stickers like the male label stickers you can get them in rectangle you can get them in circle but they are the male labeling stickers order them and you also need a printer you know i have that's why i have my printer here because i print most most of my stickers and things in here um so i print my stickers in here i print my you know i print my um my labels in here but you need a printer as well you also need um hangers you know you you may not think about it but you're going to need hangers to hang your inventory on unless you're going to put everything on the table and have nothing on your walls but that's kind of weird <laughs> So you're going to need hangers to hang all of your stuff on. I purchased all of my store hangers. My pink hangers, guys, all of, I purchased so much of my stuff from Amazon. I'll link it below. They are very inexpensive. Um, and I always tell people when you go into, and my hangers are in multiple colors. They're not just in pink. They're in pink. They're in black. They're in um, blue. They're in like gold. They're all colors. But I just chose the pink and the rose gold ones. But I tell people when you go into a physical location, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on things. Now, your inventory should really be your most expensive thing because you're selling it to make money. So you want to buy quality inventory. And with that, th there's a certain amount that you need to set. You need to set budgets for certain things because there, there are certain things that I won't spend a certain amount of money on. Say for a pair of jeans that I purchased for my store. When I'm, when I'm purchasing those jeans wholesale, I'm not spending more than $12 on a pair of jeans if I spend $12. Most of the time, you know, my, my budget for jeans are anywhere from $8 to $10. Now, when they get up to $12, are you drunk when you put your price on here? Do you realize how much I'm buying? You know, I'm, I'm buying 50, 60 pair of jeans. I'm not spending that much on each pair. Come on, let's talk about it. So, and also you need, um, well... That's another video. That's another video. That's another video. I'm not going to talk about that. Also, you need your, and this is pretty much the last thing I'm going to say, is your monthly bookkeeping record. Now, guys, my Clover keeps records of everything. Your, own, your payment system should make sure when you get your payment system, it keeps records of all the taxes that you're collecting and paying um and everything because i could print rec i could go to any i could go to say i want to go to june the 28th um and see the sales for that day the mastercard sales for that day i can go to my clover and pull that or the visa sales for that day i can go to my clover and i could pull that or the debit card sales for that day or um 
the sales for that day between the visa sales that day between two and two forty five I can go and I can pull that um but the clover one thing I love about the clover it does great reports but it can't report everything and yes there are some things because make sure that you are using bank accounts for certain things I don't purchase anything for my business out of any of my personal accounts um, everything for my business is purchased from one of my business accounts and I have business accounts set up for everything however I still write everything in here I write everything that I purchase for my business in here every single purchase even the what I'm paying for my lease I write it in here my alarm system I write it in here my internet phone I write it in here um, anything that I purchase for my business my inventory I write it in here although it's recorded other places I still write it in here to have it all together in one place and guys you should do that as well say if you're you know god forbid but say if you're audited by the irs or if you receive if you're someone one of those companies who receive the ppp loan and something happens and they need to see your records you need to have all your stuff together also make sure you have a box for your receipt my box for my receipt i break it down by month and day um so make sure you have that keep good records every day for your business you have to have good records so guys that's this video i hope it was helpful um i hope i gave you guys useful information you know business 101 business everyday essentials when um you're opening up your boutique or you're running your boutique if you guys have any questions just comment them down below um, everything that I know that I use that I keep in my actual um, business um, that I discuss in this video I will link all the information down below so you guys will have that so if you want to go take a look at anything or check anything out or purchase anything for your business um, also I didn't tell y'all about you know my regular clothing bags I do have regular clothing bags like I said I'm ordering I'm waiting on my other white ones to come in but these are the other ones that I use. And I also purchased these from Amazon. I'll link that below. These are some of my small pink thank you bags. I put my hats in these thank you bags. But I ordered some um, other bags for my hats. Let me see if I can pull it out. But these are my thank you bags that I use for my hats. See that? All this came off of Amazon. And I have, let me slide that back up under there, my other regular pink merchandise bags. Like I said, they all came from Amazon. I use these. And I don't have any stickers on any of these. My other bags that I ordered, and these bags come in all colors, um, not just pink. Um, but my other bags that I ordered, I ordered um, larger labels for me to um put stickers on those so they can say Celia Jean Boutique um so but guys yes that's this video if you guys have any questions you know just let me know if you go some of my extra stickers but if you guys have any questions just let me know guys um so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i love you guys thank you for all of your support you know those of you who go on celiajaneboutique.com and make purchases thank you so much for supporting celiajane boutique those of you who have come into the actual store to make a purchase and tell me that you actually um found me and found my boutique through youtube thank you for that because i've had several you guys do that so thank you guys for that and guys start tagging me in some of your purchases when you, when you are wearing your um you know your items um you know tag celia jean boutique on instagram tag celia jean boutique on um on facebook you know share it let people know where you got your amazing style and fashion from and just share it so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share like i said i love you guys to pieces i love you guys to life and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.
Be blessed, my loves.